All right, drone lovers, buckle up because the DJI Mini 5 Pro just crash landed into the leak zone and it's bringing some seriously spicy upgrades. While DJI fans were busy hyping up the new Osmo 360 and upcoming Go Pro Max 2, someone quietly dropped a bombshell, an official looking box image of the Mini 5 Pro. And yes, it looks very real. First shared by leaker Jasper Ellens on X, this packaging slip up might have come from someone at DJI hitting print instead of preview. Oops. But for us, pure gold. And guess what? The leaks suggest DJI might finally be delivering what we've all been waiting for, a real upgrade over the Mini 4 Pro. Remember how disappointed people were with the Mini 4 Pro's baby steps? It felt like DJI just slapped a new label on the old drone and called it a day. But this time, the Mini 5 Pro seems ready to fly above the noise, literally and figuratively. A camera that actually feels pro. The headline news, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is getting a one inch CMOS sensor. Yep, you heard that right. That's the kind of sensor you'd expect in bigger, more expensive drones, not something that can hopefully still fit in your pocket. This change is a game changer for both daylight and low light shooting. Whether you're filming golden hour beach runs or dramatic night cityscapes, this sensor should deliver clean, sharp footage that makes your older drone footage look like VHS tapes from the 90s. Oh, and speaking of footage, say hello to 4K at 120 frames per second. That means buttery smooth slow motion, which is perfect if you've ever wanted to film your dog sprinting in cinematic glory. Or, you know, yourself pretending to be in a Red Bull commercial. Gimbal gains and vertical power. The gimbal now rotates up to 225 degrees, giving you way more creative control. Want to do a cinematic upward pan under a bridge or tilt your shots like you're in an action movie? Go wild. DJI also added true vertical shooting, which is huge if you're a TikTok creator, Instagram real lover, or just someone who doesn't want to crop out the good parts when posting online. Photo lovers rejoice. For still shooters, there's more to love. 48 megapixel images with a new mid telephoto mode, letting you punch into your scene without sacrificing quality. It's like having a little zoom lens packed into your flying camera. Take crisp, high res shots of landscapes, cityscapes, or even your cousin's awkward pool float fail, all in stunning detail. Just leveled up. Here's where things get spicy. The Mini 5 Pro is rumored to have a front-facing LiDAR sensor, a first for any drone in its class. This sensor gives it next-level obstacle sensing, especially at night. No more playing drone dodgeball with tree branches in the dark. Fly confidently, even if you're the type who clips their kitchen counter every morning. DJI is also expanding ActiTrack support for runners, cyclists, and more. So if you're a solo traveler or just someone who refuses to ask strangers to film you, we get it. The Mini 5 Pro has your back. Set it up, hit record, and boom, your personal aerial camera crew just took off. Question battery life sees a small bump to 36 minutes, which sounds minor until you're scrambling to land before your drone does it for you. Thoughtful. However, here's where things get tricky. That extra battery power might push the Mini 5 Pro over the 249 gam limit. The leaked box calls it ultra light and foldable, but doesn't confirm the weight. For those in countries with strict drone laws tied to weight, this could be a deal breaker or a nail biter until DJI officially confirms it. And let's be honest, if it crosses the 249 gem mark, would you switch to the new DJI Neo or flip instead? Or stick with the Mini 5 Pro because, well, it's just that good. Worth the hype? Despite the delay, thanks to global shipping chaos, the Mini 5 Pro is shaping up to be DJI's most exciting compact drone yet. The camera upgrades alone make it worth watching, and the extra smart features just sweeten the deal. If it stays under 249 gem, it might become the new king of ultralight drones. If not, we've got some tough decisions ahead. So, will you wait for the Mini 5 Pro or jump ship to another model? Drop your thoughts and stay tuned. This one's going to be worth the wait. Excited. Let's talk about another upcoming Drone Insta 360 anti-gravity. First off, let's talk about how crazy this timing is. While Insta360 is busy taking flight with anti-gravity, DJI, yes, the Drone Kings, is about to drop its first ever 360 degree camera. <laughs> I mean, it's like these two companies bumped into each other at CES and went, hey, wanna trade toys? And honestly, we're here for this role reversal. It's like seeing your favorite pizza joint start selling tacos and somehow they're amazing too. Anti-gravity, built for creators, not pilots. So what exactly is anti-gravity? 
Insta360 says it's meant to redefine aerial exploration and storytelling, but let's skip the marketing fluff. Here's the real deal. Anti-gravity is a drone designed for people like you and me. Solo creators, vloggers, travel filmmakers, and YouTubers who want cinematic, reframe anything shots without a pilot's license or a six-person film crew. You get all the benefits of a flying camera crew, minus the actual crew. Your friends will be asking, dude, who filmed that? And you can casually say, oh, just my drone? Now let's talk about weight, because trust me, this matters. Anti-gravity weighs under 249 grams, which means it's not just light, it's drone regulation friendly in most countries. No paperwork, no headaches, just charge, launch, and start capturing your cinematic dreams. Imagine stuffing this drone in your hoodie pocket, hiking to a mountain peak, and getting a jaw-dropping aerial 360-degree shot without needing a license or a backpack full of gear. That's what freedom looks like. 8K 360-degree video? Yes, please. And yes, this bird shoots 8K 360-degree video, not 4K, not even 6K. We're talking full-blown wrap-around-your-eyeballs 8K resolution. You can spin, zoom, reframe, and tell your story from literally any angle after the flight. Basically, you get to direct the movie after you film it. Can your current drone do that? Didn't think so. It's like having a DeLorean for footage. Shoot now, decide later. <sighs> I wish I could do that with my conversations. This ain't just a drone. It's a whole new category. Here's where things get spicy. Insta360 isn't just calling this their first drone. Nope. They're calling it the world's first true 360 drone. Why? Because instead of just slapping a camera on a drone, they've designed this thing as a flying 360 cam, a literal fusion of drone and immersive camera tech. Design-wise, it looks nothing like a DJI or Autel drone. It's got this futuristic vibe, like someone told a spacecraft designer, hey, build me a flying camera that doesn't suck. And boom, anti-gravity was born. Packed with power and a fan? If you pop the hood, or well, the fuselage, you'll find something very unusual, a giant metal heat sink and internal cooling fan. Yeah, a fan. <laughs> On a sub 250 gram drone. That's almost unheard of, unless you've got some serious onboard processing going on. We're guessing it's doing real-time 360 stitching, which means you don't have to dump everything into your computer just to make your footage look good. The drone is doing the hard work mid-air. Lazy editors rejoice. Despite its featherweight class, this drone looks tough. The arms are beefy, the frame feels solid, and it gives off those drop me and I'll survive vibes. It's not some fragile toy, this thing means business. It's rocking brushless motors with fat windings, which translates to better efficiency and power. Translation, it flies better, faster, and with more stability than you'd expect from something this size. There's a chunky rear battery bay too, and the best part, it appears to support hot swappable batteries. That's right, no rebooting between flights. Just pop out the old cell, slap in a new one, and you're back in the sky faster than your camera's SD card can say formatting error. 